Hey, what's up, guys? Los and Anthony here with the Malco Cast. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. It is a Sunday, and uh, we thank you for joining us today. Um, yesterday was was a, a, a fun but emotional day for us because we attended the uh, celebration of life service for a fellow Vacaville musician. His name is Jimmy Puke, Jimmy Reeves, but uh, he was known in the scene as uh, Jimmy Puke, and I'll tell you, man, Anthony, I, I thought that this was a fitting, fitting event, fitting tribute um, for for Jimmy. What do you think? I thought so, too, man. Um, it was a great day out there at the Moose Lodge. Shout out Moose Lodge in Vacaville. That's right. Shout out uh, Moose Lodge. Like, the weather was cool. Um, the food was amazing, dude. Like, yeah. whoever... Whoever provided the food, man. It was a potluck. Was, Everybody did. <laughs> well, the tri-tip and the chicken was just, man. Um, yeah, I think it was a total fitting way, man, to send Jim off. You know, like uh, seeing some of the old school local musicians out there that, you don't, you know, that we grew up, you know, in the scene together with, like running into them and – you know, catching up on family life, sharing some stories, you know, like. Yeah. And, you know, Jim was always such a big supporter of the music scene in, in Vacaville and just really all over. I mean, the dude loved music and, you know, seeing his musician family there, you know, the people that 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 he cared about and that cared about him. It right. was it was phenomenal. Uh, you know, yeah. members of uh, Malcontent were there. And there were, I saw Jim Rowdy show there, um, yeah. you know, all these old school Vacaville heads uh, that were, you know, that made the scene in Vacaville were there. And, you know, as part of that, you know, it wasn't just a celebration of life, man. It was a, a celebration of, of, of his love of music with, right. uh, you know, three great bands that performed. And, um, you know, the first band it was was called uh, Context for King, and Context is King. Context Context is King, and that's correct. Yes. Context is King, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I thought that they were great. It was a three piece band. Uh, the bass player was exceptionally well. the 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 vocals I was very surprised at how well they sounded live. The mix that they had in their vocals was was. Uh, phenomenal and and the one thing that i liked about that band dude was that they stuck around for the whole thing and they were rocking out to the other bands yeah, yeah. That, that were playing and, and that's that's awesome i love that that's that's scene supporting scene right there you know right I mean? and that, that was jim scene yeah. supporting scene you know so um i didn't to be honest with you context is king i caught the very end of their set mm -hmm. um I loved their energy, dude. Like, I thought they had great energy. I was, because uh, energy's always big for me, dude, like, when I watch a band. Um, my favorite band of the day, though, I think was uh, Sour Diesel, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Sour Diesel, man, those guys, they were fun, energetic, um, heavy as hell. <laughs> dude, like, yes. Yeah, dude. Uh, I loved them. I loved to do like, uh, I talked to them, a couple of the members afterwards, uh, and let them know how much I, you know, appreciated their sound, you know, like, so that was cool. Yeah, no, I wish I would have talked to them because I, I appreciated their sound too. I, I, you know, the heaviness of the music mixed with kind of like the, uh, the, the rap vocals. Yeah. Um, and their subject matter was was funny as hell. Um, there was the one song that they had, which was you know, um, I'm, I'm still awake. You know, they were saying that they're still awake, and and I think everybody has 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 passed through a bit of in, insomnia, as well. And um, you know, I th I thought that their songs were were great. <laughs> they were hilarious, and that weed cover they they did that they did um, <laughs> yeah. the cover of the song that yeah. was that was pretty cool. Weed 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 yeah that was a that was a pretty cool cover that they did. Um, let's talk about Mike Pohl's uh, band. Oh, it's, it's local legend <laughs> legends. There's two local legends in that band. Yeah. Uh, and um and system 86 system 86. shout out system 86 yeah they're a hardcore punk band man and um they had some great songs too man um 
It was it was interesting seeing Mike Poles out there. Uh, I base. loved them. I thought they were great. Uh, but Mike Poles out there on the base, getting it, shaking his booty up there, man. He was getting <laughs> after it. He was uh, he was all over the stage like he was a twenty year old Mike Poles. I know, dude. You know, like, and and I know Mike Poles from from his drummer days. You know, uh, right. the Jim Rowdy show and the other other bands he's been in. I didn't know that he could play bass, though, man. He is I didn't either, dude. He's um, a fucking great bass player, dude. Well, the, and then you have Will James out there. That's right, um, Will James, uh, who was their, their drummer, uh, front former Pop Papa Roach, Roach member. Yeah, Papa uh, Roach. He's a bass player, I believe, um, playing drums. Yeah, first since '86, and he was great, dude. I enjoyed watching him play drums, dude. He was, Amazing. Yeah. I, I did go up to him after their uh, set, and I was like, in the middle of a song, you and Mike Poles should switch instruments. <laughs> <laughs> and he should get up there and rock out on the bass, and <laughs> Poles get on the drums. I thought, <laughs> like, yeah. That'd yeah. It'd be yeah. great. I like the way that, that Mike kind of engaged um, the audience and telling them what the songs were about. You know, he, he, he there was one song that they had was a. Uh, um, it's, it was called, I think it was called Not Not Like You or I'm Not Like You. Uh, mm -hmm. But he was just saying like, yeah, this song is about uh, a person who is like, who's just a dick, an asshole, uh, you know, beats up on women or maybe is a racist person or, you know, it's just an asshole overall. Right. And I liked how, you know, oh, okay, it, it brought some context to, to the, you know, to the song. And I right. thought that, that was kind of cool. Um, you know, and another thing that I thought was really, really cool and eventful was they had, you know, there was a lot of people there and they had uh, this table set up with a bunch of Jim's uh, worldly possessions, right? Uh, they had his jacket, the jacket that he used to wear uh, mm -hmm. and had all of his patches on it, you know, from his former bands and, you know, from the stuff, stuff he loved. Actually, as a matter of fact, let's, let's let me show a picture of that. Um, uh, let's see here. We'll, we'll share the screen here. And uh, yeah, yeah. His, his shrine. It was pretty dope. You like the, the shrine was great. Yeah, the shrine. It had his, you know, his jacket was there. His hat that he used to sport, um, you know, when he was at Cheers or, or wherever. He right. was. And they had a lot of pictures. And there was a lot of people on on that wall. Um, you know, there's there's Daniel Meek. There you can see him there, <laughs> Daniel, right. uh, who's recovering from COVID, and and that's the only reason why his band didn't play at this, right. at this event. His band, uh, his name Fly Traps for Summer. Fly Traps for Summer. They were supposed to play for supper, them. not summer supper. My bad. God damn it. <laughs> Fly Traps for Supper. Catch supper. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, yeah, Fly Traps for Summer. They were the, no for I supper. I think uh, Daniel and uh, another member got COVID. Oh yeah, and so they weren't. Maddie was supposed to. Our our Maddie was supposed to play a song with them, and he wasn't able to do it. Uh, so that was a, that was a downer because I was really looking forward to seeing them. You know. Yeah, no, uh, I was too, man. Uh, you know, Daniel's a great musician. He's been in the scene as well, and he was a good friend of Jim's uh, too. So. Yeah, and I, yeah. So was Maddie. You know, so, Maddie was a great friend of Jim's. Uh, absolutely, and I love Adam, who was playing with Daniel with Fly Traps for Supper, was in Jim's last band, uh, Freezing the Cadaver. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, dude. So going back to this, the list of bands that played, the one thing I wanted to say about the, these bands, though, this is what this was Jim's style. Dude. Like what I mean is like. He was into all these kinds of bands. They're all different bands. They're all different from different genres, dude. And that's what he was into, dude. So like, it was just a great day of music, dude. Like, every, all the bands were just great together, and it just it just fit Jim, dude. Like, it just fit him. Yeah, I mean, it was an eclectic a bunch of bands there, and that I appreciated that because I liked a little bit of everything was there, and I like I like that aspect of it. Um, you know, his family was there. I didn't know he had a brother. His brother, dude, I didn't either. His brother was there, and he looked exactly, he looks exactly, uh, like, like Jim does, dude. Yeah, 
and that makes us sound stupid because it's like, well, how did you not know he had a brother then, right? <laughs> like, and I didn't, but it wasn't until somebody said, that's Jim's brother, where I like looked at the dude, I was like, oh, shit, <laughs> like, just like him, yeah. you know, like, yeah. oh, crazy, man. It clicked, it clicked, and so, yeah, his family was there too, man, and, and I thought that um, not only his his musical family was there, but his, his, his blood family was there too. Right, and, right. You know, I, I, it's like I said, I... I I, I I appreciated seeing everybody there in support, and you know, for those that that couldn't make it, I know that Jim was in their hearts, and and his, his Jim's family was was in their hearts as well. So yeah, so, so yeah, rest in peace, Jim. Yeah, man. Fucking, uh, we'll see you on the other side, man. See you uh, on the other side of forever, Jimmy. Um, yeah. Rest in peace, and we'll still be rocking out in, in your name, man. So we'll yeah. miss seeing you at the shows. For sure. Absolutely. For sure. Uh, you know, if you guys have something to say uh, about if you were there or, you know, if you want to drop a comment in support of uh, Jim or, or his family, um, yeah, just drop a comment and, and, and let us know. Uh, let us know if you were there. I'm sure know. I'm sure everybody out there has a Jim Reeves story. Oh, you I, know? Do. Like, I do, too. <laughs> so, so, you know, share it. Share it. Let's hear it. You know? Yeah, let's hear Jim uh, Reeves stories because there were some sharing done in uh, – you know, I, I'm, we're not going to share what was shared there because, you know, you just you had to be there. there. You had to be there. You know? <laughs> You're not giving away all the secrets. Uh. <laughs> you have to be there. And that's that's you have to pay the price. So anyways. Uh, yeah, man. Um, thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, we know that this was not our regular uh, kind of podcast that we do. But sometimes you just have to you just have to be real with 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 the, what you talk about. And so. um this is the, as real as it gets because it hits close to home to us. So, for sure. Anyways, <laughs> catch you guys Bye, later. Carlos. Peace. Peace.